Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Well, everybody, a great ACC matchup in store for you today. A couple of high-profile teams, both of them with their eyes on winning the ACC title. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Thompson has the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. He'll return it from the three. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. Seniors probably think it seems like yesterday they took the field for the first time. Today, they take the field for the last time. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. it up the gut. Tackle that produces pickup. Smith gets six yards on the carry. That'll make it second and four. It's second and four to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Here we go. Has some daylight. He's at midfield, steps out of bounds around the 48-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. He's scrambling. He's at the 40. Tackle made at the 36-yard line. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 36. He fights forward to about the 33. That'll make it second to seven. They come out in a five-wide set. He's hit and taken down. First and ten. Ball on the 19-yard line. Inside the ten. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. He's tackled just outside the goal line. Here's the eighth play of the series. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. here we go, boys. Touchdown, Florida State. So it's the big hoss on the score. And I think the fullbacks deserve to get some of the spotlight. They're always out there working hard for everybody else. They're like a glorified offensive lineman. They never get any recognition.
He makes the PAT. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. Let's check in on some Big 12 action. There was never any room to breathe in this game. The Miners claim the win, 21-14. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nicholas fields at the goal line. And he's tackled at the 24. The Tar Heels have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week, and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. Perry's the kind of guy that's work ethic really pays off. Right now, he's playing some special football and leading the conference statistically. Slings it. They'll bring him down right around the 30. intended receiver on the play and that'll bring up a punting situation it's a good hold by the defense on third down now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen this is a great punt blocking team and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one tackle at the 42 yard line And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Brought down at the 48. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. Florida State up seven points. out to the tailback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds around the 32-yard line. From the 32-yard line, first down. Gets rid of this one. Here we go, here we go. Mike nine, Mike nine. Bang out. Here we go. Bang out. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. They got lucky on that play. That receiver was wide open, but the quarterback just missed it. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. Pull it in. Hey, the offense is in field goal range. They didn't get the first down there on third down, but they still have a chance to get some momentum here if they decide to get to three points. Hearn awaiting the return. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Florida State's defense got the stop they wanted on that first drive. Now let's see if they can do it again. And just listen to this crowd, Brad. I mean, you can practically feel the energy coming down from the crowd and how it's impacting these players. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Passes to the back, incomplete. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20. Let's go! 
Wants it all. Going deep. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Brad, he drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Coleman is waiting for the snap. He's at the 40, and he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Florida State is up by a touchdown. Quick strike, and he drops it. Again, just the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From the 37-yard line, second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's taken down at the 36. That's good for a gain of one yard. That'll bring up third and eight. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. The Seminoles have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, do not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And he has it on the corner. And a great ball game so far as we reach the end of one. The Seminoles with a touchdown lead. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. He's out to the 30. And down he goes around the 37-yard line. First down. All day, all day, yo. That's 22 by 22. Let's go. Let's go. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. That is money in the bank. Sometimes you just can't stop a good combination. They go to the left for a nice game. That brings him second and five. Well, this pass rush is sometimes scary. 
They're really getting after the quarterback now. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. it out picked off it's the cornerback good job to pick that ball off he did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball first down 10 to go Ball on the 38-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He scrambled. He's got the corner. Tackle at the 49-yard line. Florida State is up a score. He's at the 40, and he's tackled right around the 34. It's first and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. Stop the 31 yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second to seven. Halfback's got it on the quick throw, and he hits him hard at the 31. That makes it third and seven. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. He's at the 20. Tackle made right around the 20. Great effort here by the wideout to secure the ball and pick up some extra yardage. Florida State's going to use their first time out of the half here. Smith picks up about four yards on the play. The Seminoles are going to call their second timeout. And this play is number eight on the drive. There's a strike complete. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Florida State is up seven. He's tackled at about the three-yard line. That brings up second and goal. And this is the tenth play of the drive. It and the quarterback scrambled. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. And he adds the extra point. A nine-play, 61-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. like they're ready for the kickoff. Nicholas takes it at the 8. He's out to the 30. He gets hit out of bounds around the 39-yard line. I think I can count on one hand 
the last time I saw this good a defensive performance where you had a chance for a shutout. Are you kidding me in college football today with the spread and the running quarterbacks and all the speed in space? These guys got a chance to put up a shutout. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. He guns it to the left. That makes it second and ten. From the 45-yard line, second down. Throws a laser across the middle, and he's level at the 33. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down around the 22-yard line. The Tar Heels call a timeout. That's their second of the half. First and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. Swings it out left to the halfback. And he tackles him hard at the 14-yard line. Easy, easy, easy. That makes it Rally. second and two. Rally. Clayton on the handoff. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Fires quickly, the tight end, he's got it, touchdown. He makes the PAT, a seven-play, 60-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient at throwing the ball. Thompson has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Turner fields it at the three. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Florida State up seven points. Gets to about the 27-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 27. So at the end of the half, Florida State leads 14-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll.
And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He'll return it from the six. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. just suffocated him there. From their own 44-yard line, second down. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. Drop back four yards on that one. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. And he can't hang on to the ball. Tackle made at the 33-yard line. I'll tell you, a few plays in football can test your concentration like returning punts. you got to see the ball into your hands while not worrying about being hit. And I'll tell you, in a close game like this, you just can't do stuff like that. We're about set to start things up again. Florida State is up by a touchdown. They bring him down in the backfield. When this guy gets his arms around a ball carrier, I don't care who it is. He's not getting away. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That'll make it third and 13. Larry, Larry, Larry! Mike Nine, Mike Nine! Hang out! Hang out! Three, three, three! Slings it. And down he goes at the 30. There's nothing better for a defense's mindset than to get a three and out. I mean, a turnover, of course, is a positive play, and a coach will take that any day of the week. But to know you've stopped the best their offense has to offer for three straight plays, that's a confidence builder. He drops it. And down he goes at the 45. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He fights forward to about the 46. Complete. He's got room. That's good for a game of five yards. That makes it third and three. We ain't giving up nothing. Back 22, back 22. Easy, easy, easy. Play, play, play. 
Catches it, and he's looking for more. And they finally knock him out at the 22-yard line. The receiver found a hole in the zone and turned it into a first down. No matter what type of defensive coverage you have, there are always going to be holes. The best thing you can do is make those holes small so the quarterback can't get the ball in there. Tackled after a decent pickup. And they hit him in the backfield. Seems like every game this guy's in the offense's backfield, bringing guys down for a loss. He's just got a knack for making plays. So we're looking at another third down here. Green here, and the halfback's got it. Nice play to set up first and goal. Fitzpatrick on the tackle at the nine-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Quick pass, and he's taken down at the one-yard line. That brings him second and goal. Hey, defense, let's go. Pick it up, Dean. Touchdown, North Carolina. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Let's check in on some Big 12 action. And for Kansas State, they're looking to win their third straight. The Wildcats have the lead, 14-0. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. They line up to kick this one away. Turn on Turner fields it at the 7. He makes it to the 28-yard line. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a 5 wide outlook. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. So at the end of 3, 14 apiece. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Couldn't hang on here in the fourth quarter. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Has some daylight. Gains his way to midfield. Tackle right around the 42-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Strike and he drops it. Huggins was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up 32. Ain't no such thing as a loss. We take a win home. Mike Nine, Mike Nine. Run, 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 run. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. Call it a game of one yard. Fourth down.
These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. I think we're getting to the point is who's going to crack first in this game. It's kind of a game of chicken. Which offense is going to be able to go out there and make a play against these two dominating defenses? We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. That's a D line on the play. That brings, that brings up second and one. Back 22, back 22. Roger, Roger. Hey, watch number five, number five. Easy, easy, easy. Right, Lock in. Lock in. Lock in. Lock in. And now he's got room to run. He's at midfield. To the 20. Tackle made around the four-yard line. That makes it first and goal. All right, D, let's go, let's go, let's go. Touchdown, Tar Heels. This back has great vision, which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw. And he hits the PAT. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Time to check out what's going on in Norman. This one's been entertaining us all day long. And for Oklahoma, a potential upset in the making right now. The Wildcats are out front, 17-0. Meanwhile, the Tigers came into the game ranked ninth. After the bitterly disappointing loss, how far will the Polsters move them down? And for Louisville, today's win gives them eight on the season. And for Stratton, he threw for more than 100 yards in today's game. The Cardinals get the two-touchdown victory. Well, you can never look ahead a week, but that would be a pretty big upset if that score holds. Thompson is lined up to kick this one off. From his own goal line. And he has it on the corner. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. And now he pitches it. Nice run to the left there. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Five wide. Scrambling around. He might have a chance. Decides to slide. Just under three to go in regulation. It's a fumble. It's scooped up, and it's a lineman that's got it. So the sack makes this a second and long. Four down, four down. Mike nine, Mike nine. Run it. Pull it. Pull it. He scrambled. He's tackled at about the 41. That brings us third and 10. Middle got his back. They'll bring him down at the 42. That'll make it fourth and ten. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. 
A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Just an unbelievable stop where they had to have it on fourth down, and that should be the football game. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Makes it out to about the 33. The Seminoles will use their first time out of the half. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Just over a minute left. Takes the ball right. And they make the stop around the 31-yard line. The Seminoles are going to call their second time out. Man left, man left. Pull down, pull down. Mike 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Mike, Mike. Mike. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. Florida State's called their final timeout. It's first and 10. Ball on the 19. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. out to about the 21. And the ball game's over. The Tar Heels get the win. 21-14. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.